Hello, future editing Jack here. So regular viewers will know that this video is supposed to be another Vlogmas video, another day on my mini Yule Ball tour with the Potter Puppet Pals and Harry and the Potters. But as I was editing this video, some news broke. Little tweet from JK Rowling came out, uh, basically confirming what a lot of us had suspected for a while about some of her beliefs about trans people, and even though we'd had suspicions and, you know, she doesn't exactly have a pristine past on many of her beliefs, it was still kind of shocking and hurtful to see just written so plainly. So I felt like I couldn't really post a video about Harry Potter and the Harry Potter fan community without addressing it. I don't want to get into it too much here, I'm working on writing something else that I'll I'll post for you all to see. But I did just sort of want to address briefly that um, these books and the community and all of the creative things and activist things that have been built around the series have been a huge part of my life since I was nine years old. For 20 years, it's been a huge part of my life. It was an escape for me as a young trans queer child. The fan community became my home, my friends, my family, my employer. So this is tough and it's, it's always been tough when there's been whispers of things in the past. But the one thing I will always cling on to is the community, the beautiful fan community that is so vibrant and passionate and super queer and trans, by the way. So before I showed this video, I just wanted to tell you a couple of things that you aren't going to see in this video, but that happened the night of this video. So first of all, th this video is showing uh, the Yule Ball, which is an annual Harry Potter-themed holiday extravaganza that the wizard rock band Harry and the Potters host every year. The footage you're about to see is from the 15th annual Boston Yule Ball. There were bands there including Harry and the Potters, but also Draco and the Malfoys, a new ska band called Newt Ska Bander. That was the secret from a few Vlogmas videos before, by the way, that I couldn't tell you about. That was the surprise new band. And of course, the Potter Puppet Pals, which you're gonna see a peek behind the curtain of me performing with the Potter Puppet Pals. But the Yule Ball is a great time. It's Harry Pottery, it's Christmassy, it's wonderful. Five dollars from every ticket for the Yule Ball has always gone to the Harry Potter Alliance, so there have been several thousand dollars donated to the Harry Potter Alliance over the years. By the way, the Harry Potter Alliance is a nonprofit organization that uses the power of fandom to mobilize people towards social change. They've been around for almost 15 years now as well and have done amazing things all around the world. And at the Yule Ball, some of the stuff that happened that you're not gonna see is the Harry Potter Alliance recruiting people for their voter protection campaigns and their immigration campaigns. The bands, both in their songs and in between sets, raging about supremacy and media literacy and taking action in the face of fear. People coming up to me in various incarnations of wizard robes and Hogwarts ties, telling me how much my work and the love of this community has meant to them in helping them find who they are and have the confidence and the pride to be themselves and feel loved. And fans who have grown up going to this exact show at this exact venue who have now found themselves and friends and a home in this community. It's just freaking beautiful and yes, it's originally inspired by these books that she wrote and they mean so much, but it has long been so much more than that. So it's going to be tough, and it has been tough, to not let her misled beliefs ruin this for me. And also, I hope that maybe she sees how many amazing trans and queer people there are out there whose lives have been changed for the better because of her original work. And maybe that will help her learn and grow and change. But until then, F it. We are still going to create and enjoy what we love. So here, is that. Here is day three of the Yule Ball. Good morning, I'm Jackson Bird, and it is day 16 of Vlogmas. It is getting harder and harder to keep track of those numbers. Last day of tour, although I'm not going home until tomorrow, but last show today, we're currently in New York and uh, about to head out to Boston for the last Yule Ball show. That sense. does not make sense. Hermione. Oh, sorry. Wait, Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Snape's Wait. Is the smallest? No. Nope. Hagrid's the greatest, the baby one. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Wait, well, you have Snape? Yes, yeah, Snape's in here. What? Underneath Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a Dumbledore? A tiny little McGonagall. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dumbledore. 
double video editing happening in the van. Everyone's getting Scott out. Got the skirt. Oh, hey. What's oh, up? hey, Laura. You don't happen to be in a Scott band. Uh, no, what makes you think that? <laughs> because of me, Harry Potter. I'd be so great at giving gifts, I bet I could even bring a smile to the saddest, loneliest, greasiest, most depressed, most miserable, boring person on earth. I am Snake. What is that mysterious jingling noise? Snake. I'll try a softer landing next time. Season's greetings, Professor Snake. And Draco Malfoy is there on the train, trying to pretend that he's better than the two new people, the two new friends that we just met, just because of this idea he has, his family has, this idea, this bogus notion of blood purity. So let's all push back wherever we see that, whenever we find it in ourselves, Let's try and unlearn many of the things society conditions us to learn. This is a song to remind us about those things. All right, last show done. We're starting to strike. People haven't quite left yet, but we're striking the stage. I haven't wrapped up any videos in the last couple of days because, um, you know, just being on tour, we're constantly moving. Haven't really thought about it, but um, thank you all so much for watching these weird Yule Ball tour videos. Um, I hope it's come across that it's been a really fun time. And to any of you who came out to these shows, it was wonderful to meet you. I loved everyone coming up and asking me if we actually dumpstered pizza and what was going on with bananas. Uh, it's been really fun seeing you all, and I've had a blast taking you along for it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.